Hello there, kia ora. Do you remember during the election campaign when Nicola Willis said this on TikTok? Because we know, in a cost of living crisis, we need to make your life more affordable, not more expensive. I mean, yeah, sure, they are well aware of the fact they need to make things less expensive. Anyway, to do so, they've decided that they're going to introduce a 12 centilitre petrol tax that they promised they weren't going to do. In fact, here's Nicola Willis saying they're not going to do it. Here's what's been going on. People are asking us, why is petrol so expensive? Well, Labour has announced that if elected, in order to fund their promises, they will be hiking petrol taxes by another 12 cents a litre. It's going to cost you about $8 every time you fill up. Well, what's National going to do about it? Well, we will not increase petrol taxes if we are elected. Now, oddly enough, the fuel tax that she's talking about putting on was one that Labour did in fact have on the cards, but Labour was going to spread it out over the next three years. So it was a four centilitre increase each year instead of a massive 12 centilitre increase all at once. On top of that, the price of things like car registrations and road user charges are also going up. And that in itself, while not ideal for everyone, does kind of make sense if you're going to give people alternative options in terms of transport. But, well, this party also announced this week that they're not going to do that. They're going to slash the amount of funding available for alternative forms of transport, like rail, buses, and cycle and walkway plans, so they can fix all the potholes that were caused because we live in a country that deals with climate change on a regular basis that they refuse to do anything about, because, you know, increasing the amount of carbon emissions from cars is certainly going to do something there, but also because they were the ones who, under the last time they were in power, decided to do things like increase the weight load of trucks that were allowed on our roads, therefore allowing the roads to be dismantled and disintegrate even faster. But hey, who's paying attention to anything like that? Because as Nicola Willis says, In a cost of living crisis, we need to make your life more affordable, not more expensive. Oh, but don't forget also, while you might also be getting a tax cut at some point in the future, they're also cancelling things like free school bus trips for kids or half price bus fares for people under the age of 25. So no matter how you want to get around anywhere in the country, you're going to be paying more for it. On top of that, to help with the cost of living apparently, they got rid of that Auckland regional fuel tax. A fuel tax which pays for a whole bunch of that infrastructure that the government themselves said they couldn't afford to do. But now Aucklanders are going to miss out and the entire country is going to be charged even more for fuel and other road user charges. And the only thing we're going to get out of it is 12 new roads, apparently. Because the answer to fixing congestion is never, ever look at alternatives. Apparently it's always just build more roads to get congested. Honestly, the logic just makes no sense with this anymore. It, it's, it's ridiculous. But hey, don't forget, Nicola Willis did say, In a cost of living crisis, we need to make your life more affordable, not more expensive. <laughs>